There are topics that I like to bring up on this show because I believe they challenge what we're doing creatively as photographers. In fact, I think you could take that a step further in any kind of creative task that you do, whether you're a musician, whether you're a dancer, whether you're a painter, a designer, an actor, whatever that is. In our case, it's photography, but there are topics that I like to bring up because they challenge what we're doing creatively. So I've talked about things before, like doing work that matters and, and what that means. And I've talked even about the challenge of nobody cares about your photography, but things that make us think, things that even just bringing up that as a discussion challenges me creatively, and I think that's important. In this video, though, I'm going to answer a question that I got in a letter this week that I think is really important. Let me get the letter. So this is a handwritten letter and accompanying photograph that I received from Pennsylvania and I want to share this with you. It says, Hello Ted, my name is Aaron and I am 14 years old. I picked up photography about seven months ago and have loved it ever since. I watch your show The Art of Photography and I have learned so much from it. I would like to start filmmaking. Is there any one thing that you have learned through photography and filmmaking that you feel is the most important? Also, I have included my favorite photograph that I have taken. I took this in August at the Naval Academy. The man in the brown uniform was talking about the importance of leadership while I hid behind my mother's car to get a candid. I thought you might like it. Thanks, Aaron. Aaron, I love it. Okay, I actually had to think about this. This is a tough question to answer, particularly when I'm being asked by somebody who's 14. I'm at a very different place in my career, and so it's very easy for me to want to react and say in some kind of pompous way, well, this is what you should do, and you should learn from this mistake. But honestly, there isn't much that I can say that's going to replace the value of the experiences that you're going to have in the things that you do pursuing a creative lifestyle. And that's going to be very important. But looking at the question I was asked though, what is the one thing that I think is the most important thing that I've learned in my career? Okay, bear with me here. This is a bad drawing, but it's supposed to be an hourglass. When you begin a creative endeavor, you're at the top of that hourglass at the wide part. And there is something about the act of picking up a camera and making photographs or videos or whatever that is that made you realize it was something that you loved. It was fun. Remember that. I'm going to come back to it. And the possibilities were wide open and endless. You're at the wide part of that. Now, as you start to pursue a career in this, you're going to inevitably start moving towards the bottleneck. What happens in the bottleneck is a lot of different kinds of things. There's a life that intervenes. There is paying your bills and your rent. If you have a spouse or kids that you have people dependent on you, that can be a big deal. Sometimes you're in a job that you're not exactly crazy about and you're trying to figure out how to move on and, and, and go up from there. That's difficult. There are people out there that do not want you to succeed and they're going to say things. And sometimes they don't really mean it vindictively. They're not trying to tear you down, but they care about you. And you've probably already heard people say that don't pursue a career in the arts or photography because it's very difficult. And they're right. Photography and filmmaking are both extremely difficult career choices. Let me put this into perspective. If my house is burning down, I need firemen. If I get sick, I need a doctor. If I'm doing my taxes, I need my accountant. Those are all careers that are necessities. Now, photography, filmmaking, and the rest of the arts, do we really need photographers? Do we need filmmakers? Now, I would argue that we do, and I'm sure most people watching this video would argue that yes, indeed we do. In fact, I even did a whole video on that. We need work that matters. But the reality of it is when the economy gets tight, when budgets get restrained, that's usually the first thing to get cut because they're viewed as not necessities, they're viewed as luxuries. So for instance, if you have a newspaper that has had many photographers on staff and they look at the numbers and they're like, we could save money if we farm this out to people who could free it's much cheaper. That's an unfortunate side of what we do. Now, having said that, don't let anybody deter you from this because I firmly believe that anybody in this world can do anything they want in their lifetime. Anything. Everything comes with a price tag, my dad used to say. So it comes down to a question is of what are you willing to sacrifice to get there? Now, I don't know what that means to you. I know what I'm willing to sacrifice to do what I want to do, but I don't know where your threshold is or what your standard is. You're going to have to figure that out. But I'm just trying to be positive here because I do believe that you can do whatever it is that you want. And if you want a career as a photographer or filmmaker, go for it. But to answer your question, is there any one thing that you have learned through photography and filmmaking that you feel is the most important? It would be this. Never ever forget why you started in the first place. Don't ever forget how much fun it was in the beginning. It has to stay at that level. And those are the things that will get you through all the difficult times. When the career becomes difficult, when there's people that 
don't want you to succeed, that is the one thing that will help you through all of that. And I will be perfectly honest with you. You know, there are days where I'm making these videos and I go through periods where maybe I'm not feeling super creative. And I'm, you know, when you're making a living doing it, you have to produce and you have to do the video anyway. And there are times, and for me, that's what always gets me through that is sometimes I have to take an evening and say, okay, I'm gonna watch a little bit of TV, then I'm gonna turn that off and I'm just gonna sit quietly for a little bit and remember why I started this and why it was fun to begin with. And that's the thing that carries me through. And if you surround yourself by other people who subscribe to that same philosophy, you're going to do just fine. And that's the best advice I can give you. Shutter speeds, f-stops, techniques, all that stuff. If you have the passion and the drive to do this, you're going to experience all of that and you're going to learn it on your own anyway. So that is the best possible advice that I can give you. Never forget what made it fun in the beginning. Aaron, thank you for your letter. And I wanted to share this with everybody because I think that is important. And just so you know, I wrote you a handwritten letter back with a little surprise in there as well. So thank you. And another thing that I want to say about this is that when you make stuff creatively, um, you know, different people have different th things that drive them through that process. And, you know, nobody's really keeping score necessarily, but to get a handwritten letter from somebody that is basically saying, I like what you do and I trust your opinion and I have a question, it means a lot to get that. So Aaron, I really appreciate it. If you guys like this video, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to The Art of Photography for more videos. In fact, I'm going to, if you're on YouTube, you're seeing these videos pop up here. I'm going to go ahead and put in those placeholders some of the other topics that I've talked about that challenge our minds creatively as well. So anyway, until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Later.